Hello everyone, welcome back to another Let's Play. This is episode 3 of my Let's Play series with Industrial Craft, Build Craft, Red Power 2, and more mods. Um, I made a couple updates since the last episode. I updated my little cave here. I've actually been neglecting my house upstairs. But uh, so I you know, kind of cleaned it up a little bit here. Um, I did some additional mining and I actually found a ravine. I haven't gotten all the resources yet, but and then I did some more mining down that way. So I found a ravine and up above, if I can see it here, there is a, an abandoned mine shaft up there. So I'll do some exploring of that later on. Uh, let me know if that's something that you guys want to see or, you know, I can just do it on my own, I guess. Um, I've got a fair bit of resources here. Um, plenty of copper, plenty of tin. Got some iron, found a bunch of gold. Um, I made some bronze. And then I kept the, uh, the Red Power 2 uh, versions. Um, I actually found that you can macerate the Red Power 2 into the industrial craft uh, dust. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that's where a lot of this actually came from because I found more of the Red Power uh, materials than I actually found of the uh, industrial craft, craft materials. But I did keep some just in case I wanted to make a Red Power machine or something like that. Um, I also found a bunch of nickelite, and this is pretty much going to be my nickelite chest because there just always seems to be a lot, and then gems, and then additional items here. Um, the great thing that I found, though, are more diamonds. Um, I found an additional, what is it, uh, 13 diamonds here uh, going down just this path alone, you know, just down this one tunnel, and I went down a fair bit, but uh, yeah, so I found 21 diamonds here. So, and I made a little trash area here for right now. Um, so I have a couple goals this particular episode. Um, actually a few. First thing I want to do is create some more generators. Or actually not generators. I want to correct, create some electrical furnaces. Um, and I'll use those you know, for the time being with the, uh, with the generators. Um, not quite sure how I'm going to how I'm going to do this. But um, I want to eventually run some power. Uh, maybe solar panels and just run the power all the way down to this room just you know temporarily for right now um, I do my second goal is actually to get a quarry up and running um, but in order to do that I need to set up pumps for uh, my oil and some water so the quarry can run fairly well um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before but I, I really like making I like making my home underground uh, for my final home, but what I'd like to do is actually dig a get a quarry and dig a 15 by 15 area, dig that all the way down to bedrock, and then actually live in the quarry hole. And what I'll do is I'll build up layers and floors for my machines and all my other contraptions that I'll be making. Um, I haven't decided on a location for it yet, but more probably a little bit here up to the northwest up there um, to actually dig in the sand. My, probably be a cool area to do that. I'm not sure yet. Um, one thing I want to do is make sure I watch out for the ravine here and the, the mine shaft because I don't want to dig to the middle of that. So, so I just got to be careful it's not this way. Oh, oh. oh, almost got knocked in the lava there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so anyways, I, um, I made a golden sword because I was just getting attacked by tons of werewolves and uh, ended up finding... Um, are actually getting a few golden apples out of that. So I'm going to go up here real quick and show you uh, another thing here. And then we will get started. I really want to get the um, Better Than Wolves mod running, if for nothing else, than to make an elevator. I really haven't used the mod, but I've seen a video or two. Uh, so I cleared the house out and I made an oil derrick here for my for my oil well. Um, I haven't put any a pump on there yet. I still need to make that. But this is the scaffolding that comes with um, industrial craft, and I'll show you how guys how real quick how to make that. It's actually really cool and handy because what you can do is you can actually climb up it like a ladder. know do your work or you know uh, your building and then uh, when you're done with it I won't destroy this but I have some scaffolding here uh, you can place it 
you right click to place one and then after that one is placed you can left click and actually build up like that so you don't have to worry about you know falling or having to jump up and do that kind of stuff so it's really cool um, but the neat thing about this scaffolding is it's easy to clean up if I do that and all the scaffolding above falls down now it does have some building limitations like you can only I guess go over one block so you, there's not you can do a little bit with it um, make some structures but it's not like really meant for building structures Oops. sometimes there is a bug I think um, where the top item doesn't get chopped down I'm not sure if that's in the newest version like I said I'm running an older version of uh, no wait, this is Industrial Craft. Industrial Craft hasn't been updated, so now I'm running the most update version of Industrial Craft. So why don't I go ahead and head back downstairs and get started on making my electric furnaces. And once I get all my materials together, I will be back. Oh boy. Um, one of the things you have to be careful, I guess, is if you dig straight down in a mine shaft hole like that, is to have a water break at the bottom. Uh, I lagged out like right as I was going down there and I died. Yeah, so once I get my stuff together and get all organized again, then I'll uh then I'll be back. Okay, uh so I think I got everything together here. The first thing I'm gonna do is make a couple uh, electric furnaces. Electric furnaces are pretty straightforward. Um I need two circuits. So I'm gonna go ahead and refined iron and surround those by cable and get two electronic circuits um, then I believe uh, electronic circuit circuit goes here you get your iron furnace furnaces and then two redstone on either side there we go so two electric furnaces um, these are more efficient I don't know if they're actually any faster than a regular furnace I believe they are um, and I believe they're more efficient as well. So what I'm going to do for the moment is I'm just going to pop these right above my generators and let those charge them up. So there we go. Um, and then what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to need several things here. I'm actually going to, for my next build, I need to uh, start getting ready. Um, I'm going to put some cactus in one of here. So yeah, it's actually a lot faster, and I'm sure it's more efficient in terms of uh, you know how much power it stores and stuff like that. So it's definitely much faster. Um, so yeah, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm cooking cactus to make uh, cactus dye or cactus green, and then what I will do after that's done is make a waterproof uh, hose, make a hose for waterproof pipes. Now this is for build craft. So while I'm waiting for those, I need to go ahead and get some items together for that. Uh, I need some glass. And I have cobble and I have some wood. So I'm going to make real quick here. I'm going to make wooden pipes. Wooden transport pipes. Um, then I'm going to make some cobble pipes. I'm going to make a bit of these. So I'm going to need a good amount. So now I have some of those pipes there. Um, what else? I guess I might as well go ahead and build some containers here. So I need some more glass. These are for storing um, liquids. So this is a tank. So I'll go ahead and get eight of those. Okay. Uh, now I need some engines. And I believe I have everything here. No, I need to make a piston. Some pistons. So I need some iron. Oops. I need some iron. And let's make some pistons here. If I can remember how. So let me make, I'm going to make eight pistons. No, that's not really 
is it? My goodness, I'm lagging. I'm clicking all over the place. There we go. So I make eight pistons. Here. And then next I need wood I need gears. And I'm gonna make several redstone engines and a couple steam engines to start. And I'll worry about the combustion engines later. So let's make some sticks. I got plenty of sticks actually. Actually maybe not. Alright, we'll make some sticks. There we go. Okay, so four sticks in a pattern like this makes wooden gears. Okay, and then I need to make some of them. Let's see, how many redstone engines do I need? Let's do that. I'll keep some for that. And then these can be stone gears. Okay, so I believe it is like this, glass, and wood, yes, there we go. So these, uh, these are redstone engines, and I'll try and explain those a little bit here in a moment. Okay, so the next one I'm going to make, I'm going to make a couple combustion engines, or uh, steam engines, so I believe the pattern's the same except for it's cobble, yeah. Okay, and these are steam engines, and these run off coal um, or lava. I think you put lava in there. I'm not sure as a uh, as a resource. And then I'll save these other pistons and uh, gears here for a little bit. So what else do I need? I need to make a couple pumps, and I'm going to pause this uh, for a moment to look up the recipe. Okay, I'm back. I found the recipe for that. Uh, so what I need to do is I make a couple pickaxes because I need to make mining wells first. make those and then I believe it's a pickaxe iron on the sides redstone is it glass oh no that's right it was an iron gear so I need to get those Iron gears. Okay, so iron gears. Uh, iron ingots, which I don't have enough of, so run back over here and get some more iron. Sorry about that. So I need to make two pumps. Um, I'll show you guys that in a little bit. This is the chunk loading block. This comes with additional uh, pipes for build craft, and it keeps um, it keeps thing uh, things loaded. So, oh my gosh, I forgot what I needed. <coughs> okay. Uh, oh, pickaxes. That's right. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. So here we go. So these are the mining wells, and I need to make two of those. And then with the mining well, I don't know if they're stacked, those do stack, okay. I put a couple tanks on top and I get pumps. Okay. So let's see. I have transport pipes, tanks, redstone engines, steam engines. Um, I need the cactus green here. And what you do with the cactus green is you just drop it in the chest and it makes uh, waterproof pipes and then you put your pipes um, so I need to make a couple wooden pipes so you put your your pipes in there and they become waterproof pipes and you need the waterproof pipes to actually transport the liquids like oil or lava or, or water so I'm going to do the same thing here with the cobblestone and it's not going to be enough so I'll have to go harvest some more cactus but this will at least get us started here um, so what I want to do is install one of the pumps and um, some tanks I'm going to make some more tanks here real quick up at the uh, oil well and 
and start collecting some of that oil and get it the get the oil spool out of the middle of this uh, village here. Uh, what am I doing? There we go. All right, so let's head on up. And I believe I have everything I need. I'm going to have to make some redstone torches, but I can do that up there. And of course, it's nighttime, and I'll be working in the dark here, so I'm hoping it's not too terrible bad. I didn't make, I haven't made a bed yet because I spent all my time down here in this mining cave, not having to worry about uh, monsters too much. Um, I have had to kill a couple more werewolves and here, so let's uh, head over. Oh, good, it's turning daytime anyway, so that's good. Okay, so let's climb up to the top of my old Eric here. Okay, let's see, can I place this here? Yes. Okay, and what should happen? Yes, there it goes. So what's happening now is the pump is recognized that there's a, uh, a source of liquid here. And it's dropping down into it. Okay, so that's stopped right now. Um, so what I want to do real quick is I actually want to build a platform for the engine. I'm going to try and keep this looking as nice as possible here. Um, and I'm going to use the steam engine on this. Okay. And so let's take a stick. And that. And I'm just going to make a lever for right now. I'll eventually I'll run this make it so it's down here um, maybe down in my house or something here so I can control how much is getting pumped out at any given time and I can't place a block on this that's right so what I'll do is I'll place a wood block down instead there we go yeah the lever didn't want to uh, go on there so that should work um, let's drop some coal in here for now we'll leave it off because I need to hook up pipes and yet. Um, so let's hook up the cobblestone pipe. And we're going to drop this off the side here. Whoa. Okay. Let's see if I can do this without dying here. Can you hold shift? No, you can't hold shift on that. It's not like a ladder, I guess, directly. Ooh, how am I going to do that? Ah, I can't get it. Hmm, maybe I'll come up from the bottom. Alright, let's see. Pipe. There we go. Okay, and pipe, pipe. There we go. Alright. And what I will do is kind of put it off to the side here and stack up some of these tanks now. And let's keep it let's keep it level with the Derek at least. Okay, so everything should be set and ready to go. If I flip this switch, you see it's pumping there. And we should see liquid coming out. Yes, there we go. So there, now I have some oil. And I still haven't completely decided where I'm going to be putting this quarry. More than likely over here um, in the desert area. Uh, just so I can get some sand more some, some sand out of the quarry too. I mean, I could really put it anywhere. But I, like I said, I want to try and avoid that ravine, which I'm assuming runs this way. I think it runs like that. Uh, oh, I didn't know if you guys noticed this before. If you look on my mini map there, I have a pond or a lake, little lake right here in the shape of a heart. I thought that was pretty cool. So that'll be a, uh, I'll, I'll make something special for that area, you know, like a, a lover's retreat or something like that. I don't know. But I thought it was kind of cool. It was in the shape of a heart. You don't get natural occurrences like that very often. So, all right. Um, so what you're seeing right now is it's going down and I'll come down here a bit. Um, the pipe is extending. It's actually taking away my oil, taking away the oil spill. So hopefully soon it'll get down to the point where it'll be underground. It's slowly filling this up. And again, that's because um, it's got to drop down a level every time it takes one of the source oil blocks, like you see right there. Now the pipe's got to extend down. 
and then it's got a second more oil. So it'll take a little bit to get down to the oil deposit, which is underground here. Um, these oil deposits hold a fair amount of oil, um, but I am relatively lucky. I got another one over there, and I got two over here in the desert, and I think I found a fifth one um, on the other side of this swamp over here on my rubber trees. But, uh, yeah, so that's, so that's that. Um, the next thing I want to do, and I'm going to do this somewhere over here. And I'm just going to set this up for now. I'm not going to turn it on. Um, I think I have decided that I want to put my quarry over here. So what I'm going to do is set up a pump over here next to this in this water source over here. And I'm going to kind of do the same thing. I think I'll use some scaffolding. Kind of make it look cool. Don't want to put it in a one deep source. I want to try and put it in like a two deep. So it's probably going to be out in the water a little bit. Um, this is to help try and avoid. Uh, I've seen some issues or some people with that issues with um, with pumps uh, drying out their water sources. Um, I do have bucket filler uh, also, so I may end up using that if I'm having some issue. But I mean, this is plenty of water here. I shouldn't have any problems. So I'm going to go out nice and deep here, just in case. And I'm just going to build a um, just a one high scaffolding here so I'll kinda make it like that it's kinda cool and I'll do the same thing I'll put the pump here and let's get a piece of wood here because I have to actually build out where the redstone engine is gonna sit or the uh, steam engine is gonna sit So there, and then um, for this one here, what I'll I'll do kind of do the same thing. What I'll do is I'll end up running redstone. I'll run it down down underneath here, under the under the water. Maybe a little project, I guess, and run it over to maybe this. Hey, you know what? Maybe that castle could be my pump house or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. I'm going to go ahead and make a switch real quick and then call this done for the moment because I want to go and build my quarry. Okay. And plus I have to get some more coal to run that. So, All right. When I get set up, I'll, uh, I'll be back. Okay. So I'm back now. Um, probably going to have to... I, I think what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and build the quarry now. Uh, go set it up, and I'm going to have to bucket lava, or not lava, oil and uh, water over to it for now, because I need to, uh, I don't have enough waterproof pipe or enough uh, stuff for waterproof pipe, so I think what I'm going to end up doing is making a cactus farm, and I'll show you that in the next episode. Um, I'll show it completely built uh, in the next episode, hopefully here. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and build this quarry. So I had to get uh, some stone gears and I need to convert these into uh, iron gold and diamond gears so I have some stone gears here so let's go ahead and convert these all into iron okay and I need three of those to be iron still um, then I need to convert four into gold and I need two of those to remain gold and then convert two of those to diamond. So this, this is an expensive build. Okay. And then I also need to make a diamond pickaxe. Okay. Now if I remember correctly, I believe it's diamond, gold, iron, and then a redstone. Yeah. And then now I have my quarry. Okay. I also need to make a uh, combustion engine, so I'm going to go ahead and convert these. Oops, I need two of them, I guess. Into iron. And I believe the quarry engine is like so. Uh, glass, I don't have glass. I believe it's glass. Try that again. 
glass, and then iron. Yeah, there it is. So that's my combustion engine. And what I'm going to do is grab a couple. Goes back up. Grab some tin here and make a couple buckets. And this way I'll gather some water and some of the oil. So I got three buckets already, so that's fine. Be good for now. Okay. Anything else? Uh, let's go ahead and make some levers here. Okay, so let's go collect some water. Alright, I did forget one thing here. Um, in order to mark out the size uh, area I want to dig out, I need to get some make some markers. So I'm going to make a few of those real quick here. Uh, redstone, I have that. Okay. So I need four redstone markers, or redstone torches. And then you put lapis on top of those, and they become landmarks. Okay. So now I have those. Now I will go collect these materials and then uh, meet you back at the web or the uh, dig site. Okay, guys, real quick, I came to get oil, and I just wanted to show you that it's already full. So it's already reached the bottom and uh, it's been extracting it. So let's go ahead and grab a couple buckets out of there and go grab some water and head on over to the dig site now. So I decided that I want to make it up here, and what it'll do is it'll dig down. Uh, straight down so let's get my markers out and what I want is to make sure that it's uh, about 15 by 15 or so so I'm going to count this out okay so there's the first one and let's go over 15 so one Okay, so if I right click on it here, okay, that looks about right. All right, and next thing I'll do is kill this thinking rat. Okay, so next thing I know is I'm going to put the quarry down. And when the quarry goes down, it puts up the uh, caution tape here. I'm just going to collect my markers real quick. Um, if you would have put the quarry down without putting those markers out, it would have done a default size, and I believe it's like nine by, or I don't know, it was six by six or something like that. It's a smaller area, um, but this you know sets it up so you have plenty of room, and that is really big. Do I maybe not do it that large? Oh well, we'll make it a nice big house. So uh, what I want to do now is put on my combustion engine, like so, and I'll put more on here eventually, um, and then. Probably on the next quarry site that I do, I'll do a, uh, I'll do the um, power line, or the, uh, you know what I mean, the piped power. So, all right, so let's make a. Nope, I got my lever. I don't have to worry about that. Okay, and then we'll not put a lever on there. Uh, oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. Okay, so we'll right click on the engine not the quarry itself that's right drop the oil in okay and something I just learned from uh, direwolf's videos is that the engine doesn't use water until it gets up to the uh, the red state or the orange stage and it'll you know keep at a certain uh, to keep it cool then it'll start using the water and actually uses the water very quickly so um, I won't leave this running until I actually get the pipe over here and have water pumped into this and then I'll have the other engines as well and then I'll run a pipe down this way as well for the oil. I may or may not put it below ground. I, I want to because I don't want it to be all messy. It would be kind of cool to, uh, to do that kind of project. So what I'm going to do now is flip the switch. And it should start running and we should see over here that it uh, starts building this out. Now the more engines you have, the faster this will go. So I am going to let it do that while I start, uh, while I harvest these cactus and get some more waterproof pipes ready. I'll be back. Okay, so it's wrapping up here. 
and there it goes and there is the mining piece I'm not sure I think it's gonna go yeah it'll probably go and start in this corner over here and you know what I need a chest or everything's just gonna spill all over the ground so let me make chest or crafting bench here yep there it goes it's spitting it out so you see here it's it's mining it's picking everything up and it's just kind of spitting it out the top uh, if you put a chest next to it it'll put the items in the chest and I'm just going to make another one here real quick. To put down next to it so there's plenty of room. For now, uh, eventually I'll have to move this or I'll pipe these out uh, to get recycled uh, when I get that set up, when we get the recycler set up. So yeah, there you go. So there's my quarry and what will eventually be my house. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, next episode, I'm going to set up a uh, or have set up a uh, automated cactus farm. I'll also uh, probably have this pipe laid out, so water will be pumping directly into these, and I'll have uh, three more or two more engines here to help speed this along a bit more. If you guys like to see anything specific, let me know. I'm more than willing to, uh, you know, take requests or, uh, you know, explain, try and explain things. You know, some of the stuff I'm trying to learn myself. But uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, you know, leave them below, and I'll try and get back to you as quickly as possible. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.